What is up, T Squad? All right, welcome back for another video. All right, one thing I want to talk to y'all about today is route density. Like, I love this Tuesday route. Like, all of my yards are pretty close to each other, and all of them are pretty close to where I live at. So, on my like lunch break, I run home, take lunch, use the bathroom, like. And I can just stop in and just see my family real quick, you know, if I want to see them. So, but actually, this is my first yard. Can y'all see that? That house right there. Next one is just like right up around the corner. Then I have two more I do. Well, actually, one of them I only cut his front yard, and a couple houses down from that one is one I do the full service on. But yeah, route density is the key. For a successful lawn care business, I mean, it's uh, it's nice having all your yards close together, knock them out real quick, and move on to the next one. They don't necessarily have to be close to your house, but that's a plus too. So, I will take y'all along on this route with me. I probably won't record any at the properties, but I may, I may try to slide in a few. But I'm getting a late start, so yeah, I might set y'all up on a house or two. We'll see. But anyway, let me get started on this first one though. Route density is the key. All right, I'm already done with that first one, so I'm gonna let y'all ride with me to this next one right around the corner. Show y'all how tight this route really is. Yeah, like I said before, I love this route. All my yards is just like one after another. I'm working on trying to get the rest of my routes that tight. Because, uh, like, some houses that don't have many yards, and I've been trying to put some door hangers out in the, in, in those neighbor. I've been trying to put some door hangers out in those neighborhoods so I can build those routes up just as good as this one. But right here, we're already at the next house. Route density. I just finished that one. Now, about to go on up here up the road a little bit to the next one and it's been a little bit over an hour that one takes me a little longer because there's a steep bank in the back i have to use the walk behind and weed eat part of it but it still ain't that bad so we're about to go up here to the next one i used to do that yard probably about a year ago then they sold it so so on to the next two this next one I'm about to do, I just mow the front yard and the older man, he likes to mow it just to give him something to do, mow the rest of it. But this part that's in the front, he don't mow it because it said, he said it kills his knees because it's pretty steep. So That one right there is the one I'm about to come down and just mow the front of it for him. And this one right here, I have to, you know what I'm saying, do the, do the full service on that one. So. I just finished that one up right there in front of us. And you know that one I said I had to do the front yard? He, the guy came and told me he actually his son moves back in with him. So his son will be taking care of it for a few months for me. So I just had to do that one 15 minutes in. And now we're or 15 minutes on that yard. And now we're out of this neighborhood about to go down. I believe about two streets into another neighborhood then i have four of them in that neighborhood so and we're still like within two minutes of my house and two minutes of this neighborhood so this route is pretty tight so let's get over there then i will show y'all those four i have to do over there all right now we're back in this next neighborhood it, it was right down the road from that other one so and now we got one come on down a little bit then we got two then three and four right down this last one on the street so those are the four I have to do in this neighborhood on this street all right I am done with all four of those I guess it took me about close to two hours today i could sometimes i could do them all in an hour and a half just i have to be moving to knock them out that fast but once i get a big mower bigger mower or stand on mower i knock them out in the breeze because two of these backyards i have to use the walk behind because they're pretty steep back there so 
But whenever I get me a bigger stand on mower, I'll fly through it. Fly, I will fly through these with ease. Uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed, and stay on your grind. All right, peace.